So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot, then we'll run through some controls on the inside uh, from there. So as you can see at the moment, all seven seats are in place. This is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater. Let me fold the rear two down and show you how much space you have as a five seater. As you can see, you get loads of extra space when you do that. You can also fold down the remaining three seats should you wish to. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which is 7,488. Above that, we have a trip computer. You can change the information displayed there using the controls on the indicator stalk, and you can, as you can see, have a digital readout for the speedometer if you wish. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair up the phone, which is done over on the touchscreen in the center just here. Hit the phone icon and follow instructions on screen from there. This car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on both our website and on our YouTube channel as well, but a lovely clear display, as you can see. And if you want to listen to your music, we've got plenty of ways we can do that. AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input, and Bluetooth audio as well. And you can connect up your smartphone via its USB cable and project certain voxel-friendly apps up onto the screen as well. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning on and off again, of course. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set here. We also have heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. Under that, we have some storage. You can open this section down to reveal a 12 volt charging socket and USB input. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn the traction control on and off and the parking sensors on and off from here as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.